then you have to play, play that, semis and, and then, then finals. Semis. And no, no, then then you play semis, and then after semis is when you get into um, uh, top twenty-four. Okay. Yeah. So because it's always we allow two people in from winners, and one person allows to come from uh, loser side. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas you know, for for melee, it's like one person's allowed from winners, and like two people allowed from losers. <laughs> so it's you know. It's just different. It's different. Yeah. yeah, but getting into this, we got Palu versus the Ages. What do you think about this matchup? Because I think this should be a very, very fair matchup. Because uh, what Mithra really likes to do is she likes to play not really as a sortie, but kind of just a really fast version of somebody that could run in and hit you. Whereas, you know, Palutena, I could stuff out your approaches with Nairs. I could stuff out your approaches with dash attack and, like, back airs. Yeah, we've seen a lot of great powers. You know, Chag now from uh, Mexico spending his uh, time in SoCal. I've been able to watch a lot of great Palutena's. Like, you know, we see Chag now, we see Jump Steady, and the matchup seems like uh, Palutena just needs to make those correct reads on uh, the aggression that Mithra wants to display. It, it's going to be very important to kind of avoid the, the kill options from Pyra. If you're able to just constantly win neutral and not give Pyra uh, the, the move she needs to kill, she's going to struggle to find it with the slow frame data. I was going to say, so the whole... The whole thing with Mithra and Pyra is, okay, Mithra, yeah, you get a lot of the damage, but the very important thing for Mithra is actually setting up into an area where the opponent is trapped, and now they have to face against Pyra. If they guess wrong, they're going to, you know, die. So right here, you can kind of see the frame data isn't really an issue just because of the long reach, but fantastic job hitting him with that uh, side, uh, hitting Dragneel with that side B to say, hey, get off me. Yep. You have to respect Palutena with the, all the ranges she can cover and nares into forward air offstage. Um, one of the optimizations that I think that uh, players will recognize against uh, the Aegis is I need to learn how to edge guard these characters. And once they're able to find like um, more consistent edge guards, it's going to be difficult. But went for the teleport there, gets punished with the forward smash. Uh, Mithra can find kills if she gets hard reads like that. He said, hey, you're going to be right here. <laughs> But getting back into this fantastic job from Dragneel, kind of evening it up because the thing is, even though you don't take a lot of damage from Mithra, the the scary part is, oh, I'm going to be in disadvantage for about, you know, five minutes of the match. Fantastic rapid jab, 73% kind of evening it up. And I'm surprised he's not changing to Pyra just, just because, you know, commentator's curse. Boom, yeah, I Pyra. Know. Oh, he went for an arm smash there, gets beat out by that neutral B. I'm trying to cover just where uh, Palutena can burst. And I like this. He's getting put into a situation where he can't approach with Pyra, switch to Mithra, and the 599 dash coming in off that up smash, not getting a, anything more off of it, though. Dude, did you see that? He got the he got the foresight, but he didn't do anything because he didn't think about that. But gets him with that stage spike up B, baby. Foresight. Yeah, look at look at that foresight. It's 599 so dash is ridiculous. Back air not being able to kill from Palutena. But yeah, 150%, one one he should be getting dead. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> that was a read and a half. He said you're gonna air dodge away, and and he just covered it with side B and found a kill there. Yeah, it's it, it really happens. He was expecting uh, Bun, uh to kind of you know instantly do something, but you can kind of see backers coming in 49 percent, and Buntai in the lead a little bit. But fantastic job from Dragneel. He has a ledge trap here, goes for the up tilt, but still with the frame trap, with that dash attack, we got a down throw from Dragneo, tying up the percents here. Great uh, teleport cancel into the back air. Another back air attempt not connecting. This is so scary. Yeah, He's able to just find that one hit to kill. Yeah, you can kind of really see Buntai playing really well, especially getting these auto cancels with the teleports, but do you, you see the problem with Pyro right now. Pyro really, really hard, trying to do a lot of things with how slow she is. But again, you have to really play with her long range with the side B and the you know forward airs. Mm -hmm. I really want to see Dragneel go back to Mithra just to get Buntai fan off stage so that he could utilize the power of Pyra to kill, but unfortunately getting back thrown right now. Yeah, Buntai is playing very disciplined on this ledge trap and very good punish on the switch with that drag down. Uh, Nair not finding a kill there, goes for the two frame down tilt. He just needs a backer here in the corner. That backer barely missing. What oh. a parry, no punish on the parry, goes for the four, empty land forward tilt, and now we have Pyra here looking to find a sharking uh, up air to get a kill or a down air into up smash or up air. Oh, really good from uh, using the side B and really be playing very careful. Unfortunately, misses the back air again, and this is really scary from Buntai. He's off stage against Pyra, and now that's it. That should be death. Oh, he didn't dash and grab. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fantastic footsies. Attack zone breaker, yeah. Footsies. <laughs> you you have to have like that awareness because Palutena 
um, is a character that has pretty predictable air drift patterns if they uh, get used to doing the very consistent, like, I'm just going to keep doing drift in air. But you always have to worry about that looming threat of a dash attack being a great zone breaker that has that shield uh, protection where it kind of just transcends through everything and beats it out. And there, you know, he had very little room, but he had just enough room to initiate a dash, get a dash attack, and find the kill from that uh, corner reversal. Dragneel was unable to find a kill there with Pyra. And, you know, it's very important that you kind of, you can't, let your fear show against a character like Tyra because, you know, she hits so hard, but if you're able to just constantly play very disciplined and safe, you're not going to get hit with those kill moves. And the problem with I, that I saw, in my opinion, is kind of like, yeah, you could switch with Pyra and Mithra all the time, but once you're stuck as Pyra and you're playing neutral, you're going to get run over by Palutena because they have the faster moves, they have the invincibility moves, and really, Buntai fan just play that really, really well. Getting back into this PS2 again. So so far, what do you think about this matchup? Because I think this is like the most even matchup we've seen today. Yeah, I think so too. I think both of them have the tools to beat each other in basically every situation. And I think both of them having a very similar disadvantage state, uh, despite uh, Pyramither having the, the bad, not stellar recovery, I should say. And both these characters right now, Playing neutral really well. Once they get that one small hit, they try to extend the combo as much as possible. But again, you can't ever get the most optimal combos, especially in, in a match. You're going to need to learn how to play with dirt, like what I call dirty hits. You know, mm -hmm. Once you get a hit, it's like, OK, let's see how far I could bring this really bad move to you know get as much damage as possible. Sometimes it's really good just get one hit than to try to fish for you know your one really good combo because you're not going to get it. Fantastic ledge trap with the forward tilt, though. I really like the way that um, he's playing. Um, he's not really giving Dragneel an opportunity, and I was gonna. Uh, Dragneel. Ooh, Ooh, says, hey, yo, I'm gonna check you out real fast. Yeah, he, uh, yeah he, he didn't pass the vibe check. But there, um, what I liked was he was staying Mithra even later on to like 100% to go for the juggle situation to punish Palutena's not amazing landing options aside from teleport. And here, the Nairs into backer, 53% great, open up for uh, Buntai. Such a great player, able to get consistently the raw back airs after these Nair strings. And right now, Dragnail playing very cool, level-headed right now, not really freaking out, not throwing out too many options. And fantastic forward smash to punish, just tries to get the ledge uh, the ledge trap, but nothing just yet. Fantastic dash and grab. Yeah, forward throw off the stage. Very good uh, weight there to punish the low recovery from Pir uh, Mithra. And finally, we see a tech there. We saw he lost his stock a little bit earlier on in the previous game uh, to a a tech check. And tries to get him with the back throw kill conversion, but I really like that empty movement. A lot of the times people get off guard, uh, caught off guard with, you know, short hop, nothing, short hop, tomahawk, grab, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see right there, Dragneel living with, you know, with a forward smash, actually. And now you, you see here he's sw switching to the Pyra, has his rage. You know, a back air might be able to kill off the top or maybe a downer into a conversion, but um, Buntai not letting it. Ooh, that's sick, man. Wow, that was crazy. I thought he was going to go for like a ledge trump there or just a ledge hang, but instead really using the drift to go really far off side and find the Nair. Yeah. Dragnell's potentially on his last stock of winner's side here. Yeah, really good job knowing that the Aegis is, you know, really hard to, you know, grab ledge and you're able to auto cancel, but unfortunately, Buntai dying from, I believe, a SD with the air dodge? Yeah, he was uh, trying to avoid that um, down air from Dragneel. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's so easy edge guarding that, uh, both those characters, just because they can't really grip the ledge. Because Pyra, yeah, she could snap to ledge with her uppy, but at the same time, she doesn't have any horizontal movement. Whereas for 